Today, I'm going to be looking at Linus's tool, the one with the long shaft on it. Okay, on the front of the box, it's a little bit hard to read unless you're in really good light. I would have thought that Linus would have used his orange on here somewhere to make it pop, but that's neither here nor there. It does say Linus Tech Tips Screwdriver ratcheting multi-bit and bit storage. It says there are 12 one-quarter hex bits. Okay, on the back of the box, there's a little information about how they spared no expense in making it. And Linus's autograph on the back, Linus Sebastian. There's a picture of the different bits inside. And again, saying there are 20 millimeter one or one-quarter inch hex bits with black oxide finish designed in Canada. Okay, let's have a look inside the box. Inside the box, if you can see it, it's the outline of the screwdriver itself and the bits. And you're greeted with an LTT card, which is funnily enough upside down. And on the back of that, you see all the bits that are included and the ones you can buy extra. Moving right along, I've noticed that they're not using any plastic packaging. Great, guys. Well done. However, these bits right here should have been here, but they came out in transit, I guess. Also, we have the screwdriver here. Okay, so let's get ready to load the bits into the screwdriver. I'm going to just take them out of here in no particular order. Just dump them all out. There we go. And as you can see, there's flat heads, Phillips, and what appears to be Allen key. So that works. Um, I've noticed already they are very magnetic. Um, <laughs> one sticking to the other very well. So if that's any indication as to how it picks up screws, well then that's going to be great. I'm just going to slide the bottom off and I'm going to load each of these into the slots. And again, in, in no particular order, if I can detach them from each other. Okay, now that I have it loaded up, um, I will tell you it was not totally without a little bit of difficulty. If anything on this is going to break, it's going to be these things right here. They are not as sturdy as what I would like them to be. And if you're going to be taking in and out, in and out, in and out, I can see over time that wearing. But I'm going to push that right back up in there and hey ho, it goes nicely. Um, I will say this about it. Linus has um, bragged about this having the perfect grip on it. And I like Linus, I really do. So don't think I'm bashing his stuff here. But to me, it is not the perfect grip. Um, I have a rather small hand and it fits a little bit awkward in my hand. It's a little bit too thick. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I said it, it's, it's a little bit too thick, Linus. Sorry, mate. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit awkward in my hand, but we will see how I do with it when I actually use it in practice. Okay, before I talk more about Linus's tool, I'm gonna to show you what I use around the TFT studios on a daily basis. This is one of my handy dandy screwdrivers. And as you can see, that fits my hand perfectly. And this is not just, this is not a special screwdriver. It's a five pound from Dollar Tree, special. It is nothing special to it. This one is a draper tool. Um, it's for when I go and work on laptops and things like that or something that has a much smaller screw. And again, it fits my hand nicely. Moving right along. Linus's 
Okay, I can see that a man might be able to um, function very well with it or someone with large hands like my husband has. But again, I hold it and it's just really hard to grip for me with small hands. And when I reach up and I try and use the pivoting action here, it's just really hard to hold on to it. As you can see, I can barely grip the screwdriver and then I'm trying to work with this and it's just really awkward. And that disappoints me to no end because I was really looking forward to using this. So how could it be made better? Okay, first of all, I don't design tools. I use them. So that being said, I know what's comfortable. I know that this regular screwdriver grip is comfortable. And if they can implement something like that on the Linus tool, it would be a lot easier for me to use because right now that's just a wee bit large and trying to work with the shaft is, well, just a bit all over the place. It's just, that, that's not happening for me. And if I used, let's just say, a ratchet action on this one, I could grip it just like this and work like that. So basically, if they could streamline it just a little bit, I think they would have a better product. Okay, so to my point of view, first things first, this is the first time I thought I'd be evaluating another man's tool, but here we are. So one thing to note, it is well balanced, so it balances well in my hand, good weight as well. My review is going to be slightly different, or my opinion should I say, than Jen's because my usage cases, I'm usually out about and a lot, I like to stick things in my pocket, belt, in a bag, whatever it may be, go out and about, and even when I'm in the office, home, or wherever, I've generally got a screwdriver nearby. Now, the shaft itself, I have no problems with using it. It's easy to use. I can use it with my thumb with ease. Either way, no problem. The shaft itself is nice and ribbed, or is that ridged? Yeah, ridged, I think. Um, so you've got a nice grip on there, obviously, when you're riveting it, which is really good. I was able to dissemble and build a PC with ease with this, with no problems. The magnets on there are very strong. The chance you're going to lose a screw on it is going to be very small. And the only thing I would have liked to have seen probably in the box is an extension. Yes, you need an extension for your tool liners, um, where you you can actually extend it a little bit so you can get into those hard places like let's just say you've got heat sink common with be quiet ones where you have to basically put the screwdriver down the center of them to screw them in so a nice extension on it would have been good but otherwise it feels good in my hand again i have got oversized hands so that's why it's going to be slightly different than jen's point of view if anything's going to break i would say it would be this bit not that we've had any issues breaking but i'm pretty sure these little clips here over time will probably break but saying that they do seem quite strong so I'm pretty sure they'll probably be okay for general usage but I'm guessing uh, after it's been knocked around a lot and so forth it may get a bit of wear and tear on there but the build quality and I keep going back on about this is very very good and I can't see really any way you could have got this any better than it other being it being electric or an electric option maybe something to think about in the future maybe uh, an electric option get rid of the bits out to the end um, you could put a motor in there potentially but again it's a good screwdriver but the catch is would I go out and buy one of these if I'm a let's say a call out tech or however you want to put it where you go and repair people's computers at the homes or the offices now I can see where it'd be handy, but the problem is I can also see the disadvantage of it. If I'm going out and about a lot, 
there's a good chance I'm going to lose this at a customer's house. We could really need a, some sort of Wi-Fi tag in there or something like that from a, a well-known company so we can track it to keep hold of it. Um, but due to the price, it's quite handy. If I'm usually going out and about, I will take a cheap pack of screwdrivers, not because they're the best in the world, but if I lose any, it's no big deal. Where if I lost this, I'd be going, oh, damn, I've lost this. It took me two months to get it here after ordering it, and now I've got to wait another two months if I want another one. That's the only real catch. But otherwise, I would say it is actually a very good screwdriver. And the only uh, thing is, is the usage case. Obviously, do you think you would obviously go out and buy this normally if it didn't have Linus's name on? If it said it was Billy Bob's screwdriver, would you go and buy it? It's possibly a novelty thing in a way, even though it is a good tool and good for the job. So, well... What did I like about it? Well, first of all, <laughs> the magnetic tips are second to none. I've got to say that. Um, I was very impressed with that. It is made of very good quality materials. This is not likely to wear anytime soon. Um, if I try and make it wobble, very little wobble on it. So that's great. Um, the, the handle, the plastic on it, I don't see that wearing anytime soon. So overall build quality, I've got to give it high marks. Um, the only problem I can see is, and if I can get the bottom part off because it is snug, is this part right here, I think that will wear quickly because you're going to be taking bits in and out, in and out, and it's very thin plastic so I can see that being the weak spot on the tool. Now that being said I can't go out and, and, and tell you this is the tool for you because basically I can't use it. Um, it's just a little bit too big for my hand and I can't also I can't tell you don't buy it because someone with a larger hand would probably enjoy this. So I have to take into account price now and I'm not going to I'm not going to say much on that except for would I pay the price that Linus is asking if it didn't have Linus's name on it? And this was a regular Joe Bloggs. And I probably wouldn't. But being that I'm a fan of Linus's, I had my husband to order it. Yes, I did. And um, I, being it is a Linus tool and, and sort of a, a souvenir of a, a fan girl, you might say, um, we paid it. But that's, uh, that's going to be something that you have to factor in as well. Um, value for money, if your hand supports it, I would say yes. But for me, it's going to be a gift to the husband for Christmas. But don't tell him I told you that. Would you like to see more Tech for Tech videos? How about clicking this one up here or even this one right here? Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and even comment to us. And we'll see you next time.